All right, so this is the Kohler um, generator. I'm about to do an actual power switch over with it. Um, I apologize, it's a slightly windy outside today. But uh, here's the uh, propane hookup. It's a high pressure propane pipe going to a regulator, which then goes to a half inch uh, low pressure pipe. I just finished uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, black rust-oleum paint on that so it wouldn't rust like this one over here. I got to fix this one. So That one right there is uh, for the house and that one is for the generator and That's for our grill and you can see the generator line going over here this gray this gray pipe here is the vent for The regulator over here because of code reasons you can't vent a regulator close to an electrical source or from an ignition and this is also counts as an electrical source as well so the propane guy ran it along the wall with the propane pipe over into this corner here so all our shutoffs are there we have a shutoff over there as well on this right there so we got plenty of shutoffs and we got one also on the tank over there so um, this is inside it's huge so now when I power this on, I apologize because uh, it sounds a lot louder than it is. And it's just something with the mics, I guess. Um, they just pick it up a lot more. So it shows the on cue status. It just cycles through a few menu items. So right now you can't see it, but that light for auto is on. And then this is USB access for firmware updates, the main breaker and whatnot. So I'm gonna close this guy up. Nice and closed, that's what it looks like when it's closed. It just looks like a deck box furniture. So, all right, so now we're gonna go into the garage. So, I have a network cable running here temporarily. I haven't run the permanent one yet, but uh, this is the old transfer switch. This is our main breaker standard breaker. This is a GFI outlet that powers, a, uh, gives a, the generator 120 volts for charging the battery and the carburetor heater. There's no GFI outlet in there in the generator, so this uh, is required in the circuit breaker. This is the main off utility. This is coming from the street, this box. This feeds directly into the transfer switch, the generator transfer switch. Um, and then this transfer switch feeds all the way back into this panel here. So this panel is being fed by the transfer switch. Transfer switch is being fed from utility lines coming in and from the generator. So that middle line right there is from the generator. Those are the communications to the generator and then that's going to our main breaker. And as you can see here, if you saw my OnQ software, this is uh, the physical uh, LED uh, thing. So right now I'm getting power from utility and it's going to the house. Um, when I switch over, this will turn red when the generator is available, and this will turn red, and then these two will be off. So, I guess this is a better, a better time to test. So here we go. So, the garage opener lights will stay on, but the lights behind them will turn off, and utility room lights will also turn off for 10 seconds, and then all of a sudden you'll hear the generator kick in, and we'll have power again. So here goes nothing. All off. Gener generator kicking in. And we'll hear a big bang from the ATS. I just, I just got an email. There's our power. And there we go. It's a lot louder in this video, I apologize, but it's not that loud in person. inside lights on like normal no flickering whatsoever acting completely normal like if it was utility grade power and as you can see here like I said we're now operating off a generator because my main utility feed is off
I'm gonna go open the lid, it's gonna get even louder, but just to show you. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, let me go turn the utility back on. It'll wait about two minutes uh, to make sure the utility grid is safe. And, uh, and then it'll switch back to utility. So here goes nothing. Utility's back, lights on, but we're still not powered by it yet. And in about two minutes, you'll hear a big bang from this thing as it switches over to utility. very loud bang. <laughs> it almost scares you sometimes. Waits about two minutes. Make sure utility is safe. You know, you, you know when your power comes back, sometimes it flickers a little bit. It's like, this is smart enough to uh, realize that and switch off. Let me see if I can get a far off view. I'm getting emailed like crazy that my I lost power. <laughs> Generator kicked in, lost power on UPS. So. And then after it kicks over, if the generator's uh, hot, it will it will stay on uh, to cool itself off. But since it's only been on for a few minutes, it probably will turn off pretty quickly. See if there's any flicker when it switches. There we go, and we're we're back. And it, it there's a very slight flicker, but very unnoticeable when we switch back. And as you can see, we are now on utility. Generator turned itself off because it was not hot enough to cool itself down. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and this is uh my network feed that I ran. Uh, it's just a temporary wire. I plan on maybe today or tomorrow running it along these wires here that the electricians put in. There's the high voltage wire right there going across and then the 120 volt and then on this ream here is the low voltage the communication signals and then that just goes down this way follows all the other wires and down into the boxes and that's pretty much it. Um, I really, I'm really happy with the generator. I, I highly recommend it if anyone's interested in getting a whole house generator. It's one of the best in in class generators. So that is the Kohler 20 R E S A L generator. Hope you enjoyed the video.